to my channel welcome if you're someone who's been here before and come back welcome to you thank you for coming back today um i just want to do a little ebay sales report since the last sales <laughs> report that i did and i haven't sold a lot which you'll see in a minute but as you if you've watched my videos before you'll know i just do ebay in part time it's more of a hobby because i like buying stuff from charity shops so I'm going to buy the stuff anyway, so <laughs> if I can make a bit of money on the stuff that uh, I sell, happy days, more money to go and buy more stuff. So, yeah, so it is going to be super, super quick because I've hardly sold anything. So, I've got my phone ready, so I'll show you what I sold. I'll show you uh, these black shoes that I showed in the last... Oh, I can't even talk today. <laughs> that I sold last time, I think I showed you, these come back returns don't be <laughs> so i'll re remind me i'll go show you these shoes that come back from america nightmare <laughs> don't want to sell to america no i don't want to sell to america i don't mean that i mean um selling with the gps is all fine and dandy until you get a return <laughs> and then it all goes i think it said tits up <laughs> then it all goes pear shaped so Anyway, yeah, these black shoes got returned. N not a problem because I've just put them back on again. I think I have anyway. Uh, these suede Oasis shoes, I think I showed them in a haul video. I sold them for £15. This DVD, not DVD, it's a CD, a jungle one. Sold it for 9 99 and then couldn't find it. Could not find this bloody CD anywhere because... I moved all my CDs and DVDs that were in the loft and I bought a cabinet, you know, the Billy Bookcase ones, and I put everything down there and I don't know if it's fell somewhere. I know I haven't sold it before. I just cannot find it. So I have a feeling it's going to turn up at some point. Yeah, so we had to go to Ikea to change the doors because we got the wrong doors. And I don't know if you remember me mentioning that I bought a cabinet to go in the living room on the wall and we didn't have... The brackets the big rail thing to fit it onto the wall so we had to go back and get that and then we went to put it up again and then went to put the doors on and there's no hinges for the doors so we thought somebody forgot to pack them so off we went again to ikea to say somebody forgot to pack the hinges bear in mind these doors are like that big but well, i'm not kidding you i might show you actually <laughs> i might show do a screenshot yeah i'm gonna do a picture of me cabinet that we got in the living room i like them because i got wavy doors so we went to put the doors up no hinges went to the shop said there's no somebody's forgot to put the hinges in turns out you have to pay 10 pounds each well per, per pair for the hinges although the doors cost 60 pounds altogether so i had a bit of a moan in the shop and they did give us a 20 pound voucher to go and get the hinges but i just thought it's taking the pay 30 pounds for a door and you have to pay separately for the hinges I don't know whether that's normal, but when we bought the Billy Bookcase um, doors, we didn't have to pay separately for the hinges, so I don't know why we had to pay separately for these ones. And I don't know what you feel. I think the cabinet looks a bit odd now, if I'm honest. I think it needs some... I've got the screenshot here. I think it needs some something at the side to break it up, because at the moment it's like an elephant stuck to the wall. But anyway, that was my story <laughs> about cabinets. So the next item is another cd i don't know who this group was of uh, fia gil gilmore is it not really in nice condition i don't even think it's been played or anything like a little booklet so that sold for 24.99 <laughs> so yeah proper happy with that this um garfield plush i've had forever sold for 8.99 this book as you know just lately i've started to pick up a lot more books because you can get them super cheap. I'm putting most of them on Amazon. And I've got to admit, I haven't sold one book on Amazon yet. I'm selling more on eBay. I've only got a few on eBay. Most of them are on Amazon because it's free. I seem to be selling the DVDs on there. But books? I don't know how people sell books on Amazon because I ain't selling any. Anyway, so I sold this one. West Craven, Lost House on the left. Sold that for £15 and the next i got this book was it from drawtridge or worcester 
can't remember if I paid £1.50 or £2 for this Bruce Spring Springsteen book. I got 19 so I was proper chuffed with that. This um, Oxford Dictionary thesis, thesis? No. thesaurus or something. I can't remember what it's called. Sold it for twenty two ninety nine, which I'm well chuffed with because this was from a job lot of stuff that I got from a house around the corner on shot. I think I paid in the end about was it about four pounds for a job lot of like car booty type stuff, and this was one of them amongst them. This talk about pick up of the day. It was on Facebook Marketplace. I couldn't believe it when I seen it because I sold one of these before. I think I sold it for about 60 odd. But basically, somebody got it up on Facebook, somebody around the corner, for £10, see it brand new and sealed. And I thought I'd be cheeky and ask if they'd accept any offers. So she said she'd accept £8. So I went and picked that up and it was brand new and sealed. And I put it on, couldn't put it on Amazon because it's restricted. Sell for more on Amazon, but Amazon can't I'd take a fortune anyway, so I probably wouldn't have made much profit on Amazon like here. And somebody offered me £50, and I got I think I should have held out, but because I hadn't sold a lot, I just wanted to sell. So somebody offered me 50 and then I think they did. Was this the one who wanted it sooner? I think they wanted it for the Friday or something. If I bought this now, do you think I can get it for Friday? And I'm like, well. I'll post it, but I can only use Hermes, so I can't guarantee it's going to get to you by Friday. And according to the tracking, I think it got to them by Saturday. So I can't get to the post office. Like that. I work full time. The nearest post office by work is in the jewellery quarter. And that would mean, like, you know, I only get half an hour break. I only get half an hour to have my sandwich and that. And... I don't mean to be rude against the buyers, but I don't want to spend my half an hour break waiting in a queue at Royal Mail Post Office. I'm I'm sorry, like, you know, I, I don't mean to be rude to people, but I want my dinner time. I want my cup of tea, <laughs> my sandwich and my crisps and my yoghurt. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I can only use Hermes. Unless it's on a Friday or a weekend, then... But I don't... I don't I just find Hermes easier, but I'll tell you a story in a minute about bloody Hermes. Not as good as they have been, but I'll, I'll tell you in a sec. So the next was these um, wrestling magazines, which a friend gave me. So I sold them for £30. I've had them for a while, but I was really chuffed with them. Yeah, £50 I got for that Monopoly. I don't know if I said. I think I did. Sorry. <laughs> next item was these bundle of free books. They were brand new and sealed. Sold them for 99 9.99 next are these um fly flop so oh, i'm struggling to read it i need to put my glass fly flop burgundy shoes i think i sent an offer for these um 25 pounds so i think i'm probably paid about five or something for these next were my shoes which is sold for 13.99 i had 30 percent sale on a lot of my stuff so i can't remember if they went on 30 30 percent sale but they were my shoes lovely shoes but not very comfortable at all <laughs> these teenage mutant ninja turkles um plushies pl plushies not plushies sold for five pounds which isn't good but i again i just wanted some sales sometimes you get a bit desperate don't you <laughs> this um cast iron chocolate fondue set thingy this was with that bundle of car booty type stuff i paid about four pound for loads of stuff it was brand new the box was a bit knackered but it was brand new see so this the buyers left me positive feedback so for six pound oh nine can't remember that was 30 percent off must have been because it's a weird price basically i checked the tracking on some of the stuff and it still said they were in the shop so i had a couple of stuff in the car to drop off after work and after i scanned them all i said is there a problem did they not pick up the stuff and the guy in the shop said, basically, the normal driver has gone on holiday and they've been phoning Hermes every day because they've got like bags and bags of stuff that hasn't been picked up. So apparently when somebody goes on holiday, Hermes don't get any cover for them. But I emailed all these buyers to just say, I'm really sorry, there's been a bit of a delay. I'll, um, I'll keep checking the tracking. Because I thought, if, if they don't come and get them, I'm going to go around the shop myself grab the stuff and take it to co-op or something 
But eventually, the next after I sent that message, I left. I left. I looked afterwards, and about seven o'clock ish, they come and picked them all up. So finally got there. Better late than never. But that was proper annoying. It's just annoying, isn't it? You're paying for a service and you're not getting the service. So I was a little bit peed off about that. Especially as I got my last shuttle bill. And three of them had uh, underweight or something on them. And I, I was going to question it. But I thought, you know what? Now it's gone to this is it packy link. Pack, pack, pack link? Pack link or something. Where you can pay as you go. So... And what I've started to do as well is write the weight on the items as well and double check the sizes. Yeah, I'm sure there was three of them where they charge me um, admin or something. So I had a bill for 70 odd pounds from Hermes. So I paid that the other day. So that's the last bill from Hermes hopefully I'll ever get now. I'm just wondering now, if they say the weight is wrong, are they going to charge the customer at the other end? How does, how's that going to work now? If you send something and you're paying prepaying and they're going to say it's wrong what happens now do they send you an email or is it like raw mail where when they when you open your door to them and they turn around and say oh you've got to pay extra because the weight was wrong i don't know we'll, we'll see i'm sure it's going to happen soon enough this um doll thingy plush hunchback and not to dam i think i paid was it about a pound or something for this sold it i've had to cancel the order because a little bit of an odd one i'm not sure you know sometimes you wonder if somebody's like genuine or playing you up because this person sent a message saying they would like really like it it would add to the collection but they're on holiday at the moment could i save it for them and i'm like well i can't really save it for you <laughs> like you know and then the next messages, there was quite a few messages was about, could I deliver it to another house? And I'm like, well, as long as you change your details on your, you know, when you do the checkout and you change your address details and yeah, but other than that, I can only post to the address given. So then I'm in Asda shopping and I get some a ching and it's the same person that bought it, but basically put a note saying, please, can you post it to this address, blah, blah, blah. So I sent them enough of a message back saying, no, I can't post it to this because I won't be covered if it goes missing or anything happens. So I sent them a cancellation and they cancelled it, but sent me another message saying, you said you will post it to a different address. And I'm trying to text in the middle of Asda, but in mind I ain't got my glasses on, so awkward. So I mean, yeah, I can post it to a different address as long as you change it on your checkout sort of thing. So it's up for sale again. They sent me a message again saying they really want it. When they get back off holiday, they'll buy it. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right then, we'll see. So hopefully they'll buy it again. But I, I don't know. I was a bit suspicious of the messages, you know, when something doesn't feel right. So next were these Ugg boots, <coughs> excuse me, which I think I paid, was it about £7 for these a while ago. Second time that they're sold. Sold them for an offer of £30 because I just want rid of them. Nice woman came to the house to pick them up because she lived locally. And I got them, uh, they're size 6.5, but I don't know if you like me. When you try wellies on, I have to try a bigger size. I'm going to have to stop this for a minute because this is the one that... Hang on, I'll stop this. Sorry, I had to stop this because the video app that i use if it's a, after a certain time it won't upload it and then i have to try and cut it and i can't figure out this editing and cutting it just ends up being a big jump i, I don't know how people do it like that. i don't use my laptop very often only to do my labels but yeah this app is brilliant unless you do a long video and it don't like it then so yeah so these are boots lady came around tried them on didn't fit her because i think she said she was a size six and these are 6.5. They fitted her, but I was tight as hell. And she was apologetic, apologetic even. I said, it's no problem. I'd rather you tried them on than me posted them to you. They didn't fit and they get returned again. So, yeah, so they're up for sale again. And I put the price up back to the original price, which was, I think it was about £50 originally. So I'll put it back up again because like I, said, I think they've, I sold them once. I got shipped out too small. So, so I've actually put a note again. I think I did put a note the first time about they're a small 6.5. I reckon if you're a size 5, they'd probably be a better fit. 
anyway next item is this um bart simpson's book sold for 6.99 i have to put the postage high on that as well because no i didn't how much did i put postage on that is it going to show me hang on a sec i've got my phone did i have to put the postage high on that oh no <laughs> normal hermes size because i don't think that one was that heavy right the next item right these l'oreal men expert barber club beard things something for your beards make your beard soft now these were liam's right now liam's one of these people who likes to buy everything in bulk if he likes something he buys them in bulk he's always been the same his mum's the same if she likes a, a blouse she'll buy like four four of the same blouses and liam's always been the same so liam knows i don't like beards but every so often he grows a beard or as he called, he, he doesn't say, it's not like a proper beard. Just like a bit of growth. But I don't like him. But he, no offence to any blokes with beards or any part people who've got partners with beards. Some people like beards. So I don't like beards. So, <laughs> you know, I'm men, obviously. But last yesterday when we're driving home, I told him these had sold. Like, you know, well, they sold the other week, but I mentioned that they sold. Could he give him me to sell? And I couldn't get them on sale quick enough. Sold them for 25 99 which is a lot less than he paid for them. But I just wanted rid of them to hopefully discourage him from bloody having another beard so i was just doing this sold like that and i'm like that was bloody blah then <laughs> so i was just doing that they're sold and i says to him why do you keep growing beards when you know i don't like you with beards you know i don't like kissing you when you got a beard and he's like uh, exactly that's why i grow a beard and i'm like okay <laughs> fine thank you very much so yeah, so every so often he grows a beard and he knows I don't like it and then he'll shave it off because they don't suit him. I don't think they suit him because they're like grey. I just don't like it. So, but anyway, so they've gone. So I hope the person with the beard likes them and I hope their partner, if they've got a partner, likes beards. So, I would say no offence if you've got a beard. I just don't like them. So the next item is this um little plate which i've had forever <laughs> sold it for 5.99 next item is this barry white oh and the phone is ringing so i'll be back in a sec no beetlejuice when you talk about beetlejuice and he appears that was liam phony then <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's odd isn't it anyway <laughs> i'll carry on um forget where was i barry white yeah barry white um <laughs> cds it's just tickled me down it's the way i was just talking about him and then he phones up these sold for 17.49 i can't remember if i had them on the 30 percent it doesn't show me on here when i try and look now they've gone abroad yeah 30 percent if i click on, yeah if i click on it it will show me this um oh what's it called henry henry hoover these were from the car boot they had a load of new new plushies all different ones I bought this in a Ghostbusters one. They were £3 each or two for a fiver. Now, I only bought this one because I seen Carla Jenkins sell these and this was this was brand new. I had it up really high at first because I thought, well, you try me luck. Like, you know, and I got eyelash in my eye now. So, sold this on the 30% offer for £13.99. Next, I showed, the, sh <laughs> Get me to I showed this in another haul. I've got an eyelash. Mm. that's really i got oh that's just really annoying me now uh yeah i so th showed this in a haul video i can't remember what i paid for it but i sold it for 15 pounds dcp and george from rainbow they sold for 13.99 but i messed up on the postage because by the time i post them they were massive <laughs> so i charged 3.99 for postage and it come to over six pound by the time i um put them in bags i'll probably try and squash them but <laughs> i could only squash them so much these king of the shaves um sensitive oil things again these are liam's so he gave me them i think i've got some more as well i would say he buys things in bulk so he buys things in bulk rather than if it's me i'll buy one see if i like it and then i'll just buy them as i go but liam just buys stuff in bulk and then realizes he either doesn't like them or whatever they like you know but then i get them so i sold them for 10 49 three of them Next are these um, Hush Puppy Shoes, sold for £16.09. Next is a book. Uh, 
I can't even. The sun. I'm really sorry. I, I can't read today. <laughs> a complete psychological. I sold this book for fifteen pounds. I thought sometimes my reading it gets back goes from bad to worse. This is a retail arbitrage fail. It's over six pounds from Vaseline Lip Care thing. I thought when I seen them in um, was it B and M bargains or home bargains? I thought my ages ago. I thought they'd be good sellers, but they're not. <laughs> I've got a few more of them. These shoes I've had them for ages. Um, why haven't I got their brand on there? Let me have a look at the picture. I ain't even put the brand on there, have I? I just put cream high. Oh yes, I have cream high high heels, new look shoes. So for a grand total of five pounds. Okay, so <laughs> the next item is this Sue Ty uh, Tycoon complete complete com collection. So for ten pound forty nine. I don't know much about that, but they've left positive feedback, so hopefully they're happy with them. These Eco Men's shoes sold for $27.99. This, um, I sold, done an auction for these, this Nook. I think it's like a tablet. It switched on, but there was no cables or anything to check it with. I've done them on auction, sold for £13.50. Somebody did send me a question about them, what happens when you swipe it. And some like pictures of books came on, so I sent them a picture. And they said you could also use your phone, your phone cable to um, charge it. But when I tried my phone cable, it was too big. So I sent them a message telling them that. Oh, yeah, what was it? Them eco shoes. They did ask me, are these black or are these brown? Because the picture did look a bit browny. So, as you know, me and colours are rubbish. So when Liam and Sully came home, I asked them and they both said they were black. So... They said they were black. So they said they were black. I was almost sure they were black. So I sent the buyer a message saying they were black and they did buy them. And hopefully they got them and they are black and they're happy with them. The next item is these paper shoes, men's shoes, sold for eleven eighty nine. Next are these Marks and Spencers, Spencers vintage look shoes, sold for eleven pound eighty nine. Next is this um, Roxy Easy Media Creator thingy. I don't know what it is. It was brand new and sealed. I only paid a couple of quid for it. It's gone abroad. So for uh, £45.49. I think that was on my 30% offer. It's gone abroad. Now I'm hoping I don't get any grief with this. Because basically, when I put it in the box and padded it up and everything, it was rattling. So I opened it back up again to repad it and it was actually inside something was rattling. But obviously because it was sealed, something must have come loose. So I'm hoping no, it's broke on that because that's going abroad. It's gone abroad. But there was I'm just hoping when it goes through customs and all that, they don't shake it too much or get suspicious. <laughs> so I'm waiting, fingers crossed, that everything goes through on that. This uh, Almo. Sold for five pounds. I sent an offer for that. I've got to post that. They sold yesterday. These paver sh uh, yellow shoes sold for fifteen pounds. I've got to pack them up. Did I do an offer for them? I think I've done an offer for them. And these trainers sold for fifteen pounds this morning. So I sent an offer for them. So that's all my sales, which is not a lot, I'm afraid. But I want to talk to you. I mentioned. Uh, oh, I mean. Like that. I mentioned a few weeks ago that I had a return from America, a pair of really expensive shoes. So they wasn't happy with the quality of them. So I'm like, okay, so I've never had a return from a GPS before, so I didn't know. I just accepted the return. So they sent them back. <coughs> and okay, then the postman come to the door and told me, I've got bad news for you. You've got a return and you've got to pay a fee on them. He says... Basically, here they are. Now, I'll see if I can show you without showing all my name. So they paid, I'll try to show you, $24 to get them sent back to me, right? Now, i just done a return on them because at first they were saying they was not as described. So I said to them, they were as described. Please, can you change your reason for return? Because I thought that was a bit naughty of them because they obviously wanted a free return. So... Just I sent them that message and then they sent me a message saying they've returned them and they're on the way. I'm like, okay, they even sent me a picture of this. So 
when the postman come to say they're up the sorting office you've got to pay a fee this is what i had to pay i don't know if you're going to be able to see it 31 pounds 75 can you see it where is it now uh it's there that's how much i had to pay to get a pair of shoes back that we've got returned from America and when I went up the sorting office and says what's this V? He's saying something about VAT or something like that on them. So I had to pay 30, <coughs> nearly £32 to get my own shoes back. So I phoned up eBay who said I've got to phone eBay America because it was them who dealt with it. So when I went to phone them, couldn't get through and then I couldn't phone to after one o'clock or something, obviously time time differences so i found up again and says to the ebay uk can you put me through to ebay america again spoke to this really nice bloke <coughs> who checked all the mess sorry i got cough now checked all the messages and basically said this was actually before i picked them up i says what do i do he says it's up to you you can go to the sorting office and ask them why you've got to pay the fee so or you can just pay it and just go from that way so this was before i picked them up and i says to him what happens now he says i says do he i says i know obviously ebay will refund me my fees he says unfortunately paypal won't refund you their fees i'm like oh okay right so that was i think it was about 20 pounds because they were like 300 pound pair of shoes because they're designer so yeah i got it so i had to pay the 30 odd pounds to get them back I've lost the 20 odd pounds that PayPal are charging me. The buyer has paid 25 pounds to send them back to me. So I says to the guy on the phone, what happens now? I says, have I got to refund the buyer when I get the shoes? As you can see, I've got them there. Have I got to refund the buyer and then pay in their postage on top again? And he says, no. He says, because the buyer didn't wait for you to send them a return slip, they chose to send them back themselves. All you're obliged to do, if they come back in the same condition that you sold them, which they have, they're exactly the same. He says, all you've got to do is refund them what they paid because I've done it free postage as well. So, okay, so when they came back and I checked. Wow. Well. So, okay, so when they came back and I checked and they're fine, I refunded the buyer. And I just thought, just i've just got to leave it if anything happens after that i'm gonna to have to contact ebay so this was a few weeks ago last night i had bing on my phone and i got a message from the buyer hang on let's see if i can find it let's see my messages excuse me i got my phone well obviously and it's taken out this was a message i got from the buyer last night hi thank you for the refund i'm sorry to write but I've just found out from eBay that I didn't have to pay the shipping back cost. It was around $25, which it was because I just showed you. Would you be able to reimburse me that amount? Now, right, this is where I'm a bit stuck now. What do I do? Because they basically said they wasn't happy with the quality with them. As far as I'm concerned, there was nothing wrong with the quality, the A1 quality designer shoes. Check them all out. As several people advice on them they are genuine shoes this buyer didn't wait for me to send a label I didn't know how to send a label anyway because I've never had a return back for a GPS one especially from America so she wanted to return them which was fine she's returned them paid $25 to return them I've refunded them I spoke to eBay who says I don't have to give them any more money but this lady has obviously spoke to eBay as well and she's been told that she didn't have to pay the £25 and now she's asking me to reimburse her the £25. So I just sent her a quick message yesterday saying I've refunded you your amount for the shoes. You'll have to contact eBay again for any other... What did I put? I can't even remember what I put now. What did I put? It was just a quick message. I put, you'll have to contact eBay Direct as I've given you a fee for refund regards, Donna. No, I don't know if I was right or wrong. Like I said to the bloke on eBay, I said, did I do anything wrong? He says, no, you didn't do anything wrong. I said, so, I actually said to him at the time, she's paid £25 to return them to me. 
which is a lot of money i paid 30 odd pounds to get them well at the time i hadn't paid i said i've got to pay 30 odd pounds to get these shoes back from the sorting office i've lost my paypal fees plus my original postage that i posted them to the gps and i think i've paid sign for it as well because obviously there was expensive shoes so i've lost out like nearly it's got to be nearly 50 pounds on a pair of shoes yeah they are designer and yet i have them i have got them up for resale again but uk only so this was last night i've had this message so i'm just really asking for any advice now if you was me to me there's nothing wrong with the shoes she wanted to return them which was fine she didn't wait for me to go for the system of i was going to contact dbay to say somebody wants to return what do i do she just sent them back should she got a husband to send them back which she did they've come back they're fine they're, do i have to give her a 25 pounds would you give her a 25 pounds because i've already lost i've lost out a lot of money on these shoes <laughs> like you know just just i'm just asking for saying any advice from anybody so basically long story short sold a pair of shoes to america the buyer says she didn't like the quality of them wanted to send them back she sent them back to me using not ebay label she's just sent them back i've refunded that yes she's lost out 25 pounds but i've lost 50 pounds what would you do what am i supposed to do what's the moral thing to do because i have a feeling she's going to leave me bad feedback because i did check last night how long how long do you get to leave feedback and i think they said 60 days so i have a feeling she's going to leave me bad feedback which is her choice uh, but will i have a right to argue the feedback because i accepted the return in good faith she returned um yes she's lost out but so have i but i have gone up for resale yeah so i'm sorry if i'm rambling i know i'm going on <laughs> so i do apologize but what would you do if you was me do i go through paypal and give her 25 pounds would you give her 25 pounds or would i don't know i might have to phone ebay again to ask them how do i go about this because i've refunded her a whole amount i don't know please someone someone anyone give me advice if you was a customer would you be peed off it's, it's an awkward one i remember buying a, um, a super dry jacket from my son was it off amazon no it did stay in the listing the sizes do come small and i did say to liam and sully i think he might need a medium because small is going to be small on him if they're saying small comes up really small you're best to buy a better size a bigger size so this jacket come and yeah it's bloody tiny and i had to send it back and it cost me about eight quid to send this jacket back so i lost that eight quid because it was my own fault i suppose that's not that's a bad example really isn't it it is a really rubbish example but the what i'm trying to say is i lost out eight pound and ended up with nothing this lady's lost out 25 dollars i don't know what that is in pounds but her what she was saying is she wasn't happy with the quality of them no to me there's nothing wrong with the quality i don't know i'm, I'm stuffed i don't know what to do i really don't know so i'm gonna get a negative i know i'm gonna get a negative so i might phone ebay later uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something, you know. I think this, this is gonna go pear shaped. So thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. I hope you like this video. I know it's a bit of a long winded moany, not a rant. I don't think I've ranted too much today. So yeah. So oh yeah, I've got some advice for you. Not eBay related. If you go into the cinema and you watch um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Could you let me know? No, no, it's not an advice. It's not advice, sorry. It's a, it is a rant. We paid £27 odd to go and see that film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it was the worst film I've ever seen in my whole life. You should be able to get refunds if a film's rubbish. Because I how it got five stars, I don't know. So, yeah, so if you go into the pictures and you see that film, could you let me know what you think? Because even then, thought it was rubbish. The best bit about the film was the dog. They had a nice dog in it. And the last 10 minutes was the only good bit about the film. And I mean, I, when we went there as well, 
there was two ambulances outside and then we went because we got the tickets on the phone and she says uh what did she say the woman says oh i'm really sorry somebody's had a heart attack in that <coughs> in the, the pictures because it was um the IMAX, because it was only shown in the IMAX, which is more. And I can't personally see any difference between IMAX and normal. So we paid to go in the IMAX. And then we had to wait a while, because unfortunately somebody had a heart attack. I don't know if they're okay. I hope they're okay. But I said to Lynn, when we come out, yeah, I know why the person had a heart attack. They were so shocked. How rubbish this bloody film was. So, yeah, so if you do watch that film, please let me know what you think, because... I sometimes I can't believe I know it's a Quentin Tarantino film I don't know if he writes them but if he wrote this one he should be ashamed of himself because it is shocking so yeah so that's it <laughs> that's all I got to say on that film yeah it was a bad weekend that weekend because I wasn't happy about my hair because she put too many highlights in it look it's gone a bit gingery and then we had a takeaway and the chicken didn't taste right. So I couldn't eat that. It was a chicken curry. So I ended up just having like um, curry sauce and rice. And then we went to the pictures to watch the worst film in the whole wide world. So yes, yeah, so last weekend I was not in a good mood. And she ripped me off at the hairdresser. She charged me £5 more than normal. I really think I should find another hairdresser. Because I, I'm not enjoying going to the hairdressers one little bit. I don't enjoy it anywhere. I'd rather go to the dentist. And that's saying something. So anyway, so thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you're new to this channel, if you want to consider subscribing, that would be great. If you're someone who's been here a while, thank you to all you lot. And thank you for watching and commenting and giving me the thumbs up. And the people who give me thumbs down, I'm not saying thank you to you. <laughs> so uh, I've got to go because I'm actually going shopping. And obviously I'm going to the charity shops. And the other day I bought a pair of jeans from the charity shop. Elasticated pair of jeans at the top. You know when you know you've hit middle age. When you buy a pair of elasticated jeans and you try them on and you're like, ooh. They fit really nice. So if I see any more of them, I'm getting them. But I don't care anymore. I don't care. If it fits me, I'm having it. So <laughs> All right, take care, everyone. Good sales. Hope you have good sales. And if you're going to car boots or charity shops, good some get some good pickups away as well. I can't talk. <laughs> it's been such a while since I've done a video. I was a bit nervous because I'm like, it's been ages since I've done my last video. And I bet this one's going on for ages, isn't it? So if this one's got a cut in the middle of it, is it even going? Yes, it is. It's got numbers at the bottom that I couldn't see were moving. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye.